Hello everyone. I am Jyotsna Singh and I am a student at Indian Institute of Technology, Rudki. Today, I am excited to share with you the working of a robotic arm. But first, let's talk a bit about applied instrumentation. In this course, we explore the principles and techniques behind the design, implementation and orientation of various instruments used in real-world applications. From sensors that measure temperature and pressure to the actuators that control motion, Applied instrumentation plays a crucial role in fields ranging from engineering and manufacturing to healthcare and environmental monitoring. And that is something that makes this practical knowledge extremely essential. Now let's dive deep into the topic of robotic arm and their application. Robotic arms are fascinating examples of applied instrumentation, combining mechanical components with advanced control system to perform a wide range of tasks. In my project, I have built a robotic arm using a variety of instruments and components. Let's dive deeper into the mechanism and the design of robotic arm. We have base, the lower carbon fiber arm, which is the shoulder part of the arm, the upper carbon fiber arm, which is the elbow, and a gripper mechanism. We have also shown the positioning of linear actuators explicitly. Rhino IG32 10 RPM will be used to rotate the base of the arm through bevel gears. Lazy Susan mechanism is used to ensure that the base rotates smoothly. The case at the base is constructed using 19 cross 19 aluminum channels. A linear actuator of stroke length 200 mm is used for the shoulder. The shoulder is made using two 60 cm long 15 cross 15 carbon fiber channels. Another linear actuator of stroke length 100 mm is used for elbow. The elbow link is also made up of same channel as used in the shoulder. And here's the end effector. The end effector has one degree of freedom at the wrist to rotate it and a gripper mechanism at the end. In robotic arm with two linear actuator, each actuator controls the extension of one of the arms. A linear actuator is a device that converts rotatory motion into linear motion. This is crucial for controlling the extension and retraction of the arm's segment. Inside the linear actuator, there's a motor coupled with lead, screw, or a belt mechanism. As the motor turns, it drives the screw or belt, causing the actuator rods to extend or retract. By independently adjusting the length of these segments, the arm can reach different positions and orientation. However, determining the angle required to position the arm accurately involves some complex mathematics known as inverse kinematics. Inverse kinematics is the process of calculating the joint angle needed to achieve a desired position and orientation of the end effector, typically the tool or the gripper attached to the robotic arm. This involves solving a set of equations based on arms, geometry and the desired position in 3D space. While these calculations can be intricate, they are essential for enabling the arm to perform tasks accurately and efficiently. So, how exactly do we find these angles? Rotatory encoders play a crucial role here as they provide real-time feedback on the position of each joint. Continuously monitoring the angles of the joint, the control system can adjust the linear actuator's length to maintain the desired position and orientation of end effector. This closed loop feedback system ensures that the robotic arm can adapt and change to its environment and perform the task accurately even in the dynamic settings. Now let's discuss the importance of a closed-loop feedback. A closed-loop feedback system refers to the process where the robotic arm continuously receives the feedback from its sensor, such as rotatory encoder, while executing the task. As the arm moves, the sensor provides real-time information about its position and orientation. This data is then fed back to the control system, allowing it to make adjustments to the actuator's movements as needed. In putting it all together, a robotic arm equipped with leader actuator, rotatory encoder, and sensor becomes a highly capable and versatile tool. Whether it's precision, manufacturing, intricate surgery, or hazardous environment, these components enable the robotic arm to perform tasks with efficiency and reliability. 
And that concludes our exploration of robotic arm with linear actuator, rotator encoders, and sensors. We hope you find this video informative. Thank you for watching.